So she's uh, going to cut some of that off. I'm going to cut it out there so I can help. We like to use a torch to keep the end of the rack once they get to the, to the end of it, and that way it burns off. What we have found is sometimes um, adding the wrap, by the time you get to the bottom, the bubble is a little bit colder. And if you go to pull that wrap to pull it thick till it separates, sometimes it will pull the wrap right off the end of the rock. So we use a torch, heat the, heat the wrap, and then it uh, comes right off. So Katie's getting her bit really hot. Ellen's got this tool, we call this our roller wrap machine. And uh, this is where it takes a lot of skill and experience. So Kate's got that nice and hot. She starts on the last on the rod, it's called the royal. You can see that Ellen's wrapped this. I'll stand out of the way. Kate's done a great job of making that wrap. Beautifully, you can see how even it is pulling off. Um, the wraps are right all the way to the end. There it is. I want a nice round of applause for the team. Nice job. I'm going to try watching that. It's one of my favorite things to watch. So now, Helen's going to add a foot, and then we're going to get ready to transfer to the monkey iron. So uh, she's just making sure that that wrap is used in. Uh, it's on the surface, but if you want to get too cold, it'll pop right off of there. So uh, by heating it really well right now, it's making sure that it's fused to the surface of it. And she's not going to heat it so much it starts to disappear, but we just started making this line work, I think about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. So we're still working on the kinks. Anybody else have any questions? Well, if this looks like something you guys would like to try, we have a place called the Studio Recording Museum Evil Glass. And you can go try a hands-on experience yourself. You can make a holiday ornament, a little pumpkin. They have all sorts of things you can try over there. And uh, if you're worried about the hot shop, they also have some cold glass you can, you can try. Uh, we're just doing, we're, we're right in the middle of a huge studio expansion. I don't know if you notice all the construction going on over there. It's uh, taking about a third of the parking lot out, but uh, they're redoing the studio and they're making it into a beautiful uh, studio where they're going to be teaching classes. I mean, they already teach classes there, and uh, they have. They have resi a residency program over there. Um, that's also where they do the paint around. So they just added the foot. Yeah, I'm really excited about the studio expansion. This is the third expansion, I believe, for the studio. Um, they opened the studio in 1997, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's grown and grown and grown. Um, it's, it's, as far as the studio goes, it's known as one of the best studios in the world. They have teachers from all over the world that come there and teach classes. Do you do like week long beginners? We do week long beginner classes, yeah. Um, so during different parts, different times of year, in the winter and in the summer, they do the intensive classes. So you can sign up for a week-long class or a two-week-long class. So uh, total, never touched class before, you can sign up for a week, and they're going to teach you all of the things that you need to do to be able to make class yourself. So I would say, you know, when you first learn how to make classes, there's a lot of things that are difficult. You saw that we just reached in there and she got it to us at the end of the ride. 
That is a really difficult thing to do because you're in front of a furnace that's 2,100 degrees. So you have to learn how to like, stand behind the door, look over the edge, and reach in there and gather up clear liquid. The hardest thing to do, or one of the hardest things to do, is to know where the level is. What I try to teach people or tell people how to find it is you slowly push your iron in there, and when you see the reflection on the surface, you're almost ready to go into the glass. That's when you raise your iron about an inch, start rotating the iron, slowly come out and push forward as you're rotating, and you'll gather yeah, some glass at the end of the stick. A lot of people that don't know where the reflection is, they stick the blow pipe in this far before they realize that they're in there about a foot. And uh, that makes it really difficult because you can see the glass is really sticky with respect to the sill. All right, so they've attached the putty, a little tap, and look at this, the vibration breaks it off just like that. Beautiful. So now, how will the start to heat? 